I'm Gilad Lotan. I'm the VP of Research and Development at SocialFlow. A lot of what we do is tell interesting stories from the data. So as we notice events that are happening in the network, uh, we identify them and we start tracking and we try to visualize them. We, we really try to see how we can visually represent these, these events that are happening on these social networks. Here are all mentions of UNICEF uh, over the last three weeks. Right, this is today, um, this is three weeks ago. We see these sort of large spikes. These are just mentions of uh, the UNICEF profile on Twitter. It goes up to more than 700 uh, tweets per 10 minutes, right, 70 tweets per minute. All the phrases, entities, sort of people referenced uh, in relation to Sahel Now, how are they all interconnected? Just from doing this, we see sort of there's a, there's a large node here that's the hashtag Sahel Now. There's UNICEF USA, there's at UNICEF, there's Sahel, oh, Selena Gomez, of course. So we're seeing all these concepts that are uh, related to Sahel Now. I'm just pulling out the different, um, sort of the major players in the hashtag to try to understand the relationships between the rest. These are the Twitter handles of the people who participated in the hashtag, and how are they interconnected? A lot of these are clearly Selena Gomez fans. This seems more like the non-profit organization world. We see one campaign, um, Oxfam, World Bank, UNDP, they all participated in the hashtag. They all tweeted about it in the last few days. Sort of this part of the graph, our folks follow some of the, some of the UNICEF profiles but are posting content in Spanish. And we're seeing a, a denser cluster because people who post in Spanish tend to consume in Spanish. Let's take a look at this one here, this outlier. This seems more like folks in the Middle East. So this, this cluster might be folks in Bahrain who are connected to each other and they all participated uh, in the hashtag. So we're seeing uh, the flow of information, we're seeing the, the relationship between the, the concepts, and we're also seeing the, the clusters, geographic clusters emerge. So Spain, uh, sort of topical cluster here, this is more like NGO land, uh, Selena Gomez fans, uh, Bahrain, and I, I suspect each one of these small clusters are different, uh, either topic or geographic region. We're very excited uh, by the opportunity to, to be able to get this data and dissect it and slice and dice it in real time. Right now you can, you can really understand the breadth and reach of, of a certain campaign, of a hashtag, of a message that you sent out. Uh, you can see sort of the relationships between concepts that appear within, within your campaign or within that hashtag. And you can start to understand who the people behind, who the people who are spreading the, the message or your message, uh, how, who they are, how they're sort of interconnected, uh, maybe what else they're interested in, uh, where in the world they're at. Right? And just by, just by mapping out their relationships, you can understand so much more about the people who support you.